every year. Despite the constant doom and gloom predictions, the unending chicken little warnings that somehow making health insurance fairer and easier to buy would lead to the end of freedom, the end of uh, the American way of life. Lo and behold, it did not happen. None of this came to pass. In fact, in a lot of ways, the Affordable Care Act worked out better than some of us anticipated. Has it worked out better than you anticipated? President Obama praising his signature legislation during a speech yesterday, saying that challenges to Obamacare are just fiction, despite the fact that his law is going before the Supreme Court for a second time. All of this is the Secretary of Health and Human Services is about to testify before a House committee about how all of this is going. Joined now by Alan Combs, the host of the Alan Combs Radio Show. Pete Snyder is a former pollster to Rudy Giuliani and CEO of Disruptor Capital. Both are Fox News contributors. Welcome to both of you. Uh, good to have Thanks, you both Martha. here. Um, hmm. So everything's a lot better, and uh, folks were just sort of chicken littling that the sky's falling, Alan. I I'm sure you probably agree. Uh, uh, well, uh, yes. Uh, 16.4 million more people have health insurance. People in their 20s can stay in their parents' plan. The no punishment pre existing conditions. And the real figures that were released that say prices are going up only talk about those prices where they're going up 10% or more. They don't talk about those places where it's going down or under 10 percent. And besides, we can also pretty much uh, believe that even without the Affordable Care Act, insurance companies would be raising prices. So, uh, yes, it's working in many, many ways. And, of course, the right wing is going to be very upset if they do overturn the subsidies because they have no alternative plan. Okay. Well, m many, many people don't have the doctors that they were promised uh, that the president told them they could keep. Okay, that, that, that's a fact. I'm sure you know people that that has happened to. Um, you can read about it in pretty much every report. The Kaiser Family Foundation says that costs have gone up 22.2% and that most people's premiums have jumped over 3 thousand dollars, Alan. The president told people during the campaign and after that most families would save $2,500. So while a lot more people are covered, the big underpinning injustice here is that people, everybody's paying for it across the board. Everyone they, else is paying for it. It would go up it. more if we didn't have the Affordable oh, Care well, Act. And oh, that's, 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 that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Also, we don't have figures about where it's gone that's, down. That's preposterous. Look, the interesting thing about that clip is the president sticking his chest out, full arrogance on. Notice he didn't say that it's more affordable. Notice he didn't say that costs are going down. Because, Martha, what you said and what the Kaiser Foundation said is absolutely right. Right now, we have millions of families that were promised cheaper health care. They're looking at double-digit premium increases right now. We've had, uh, we've had exchanges across the, com the country imploding left and right. This has not worked from the moment okay. this went through Congress. And actually, President Obama, not only as a former constitutional lawyer, had the law wrong. I mean, that's really what's at, at well, issue with the Supreme Court right now. It was written in, in, poorly and ramrodded through in a wildly partisan way, probably the most <laughs> partisan law ever uh, passed in the country. <laughs> it's a disaster, period. In those states right. that are participating, like Kentucky, which is a red state, they're actually doing very well. It's those governors what and Republican in, what in legislatures where they're not Vermont, participating Alan? is where they've had big increases and where people are not getting insured. Well, That's the, where the there are, are other um, effects of all of this, one of which is that a lot of companies just don't want to hire people because they their costs have gone up across the board. So the, the, for the company, the premiums are skyrocketing. So they're looking at each other saying, how can we cut costs? How can we contain our costs? Well, we're not going to be able to hire anybody this year. I mean, uh, that you will hear that I, across I, the board in businesses across the country. I'd like to know what the country. Republican plan is to lower costs, because I haven't heard one. Can you tell me what it is, Pete? Because... Alan, they don't have a plan. I mean, it's, it's, they've, it's, they've, it's, they've skyrocketed under this plan, Alan. And, you know, I mean, you can say, that, Alan, that everybody, you know, more people are covered. And that's nice for those okay. people. It is. It's nice for those people. <laughs> yeah. But everyone Alan else is The president told people that that wasn't what was going to happen. He also said he was going to cut billions okay, from Medicare. Okay, what's the Give me have the better plan. Have we ever heard plan. anything more about that, Pete? What's, Do you remember how, what are the ways we were going to pay for this? We, we have it all. And, and, you know, Alan crowing, for, Alan crowing for what's the Republican plan? The first thing that we need to do is get rid of this abomination of a law. 
And replace uh, it with what? It looks like it's unconstitutional. Uh, replace it with actually free market principles. Oh, replace yeah. it with actually keeping your word, Alan. Well, yeah, replace the it with what? Well, what's your plan? This There's twice. no alternative plan. In and, fact, and it's been a disaster for America. You know I mean, that look, Republicans are, you going are really. To replace the, right. the millions of dollars that are coming out of the pockets of Americans, the billions of dollars that this thing's cost. Do you what know, are we going to do not to replace to, that, Alan? Not to mention the fact that people don't want to be doctors uh, uh, anymore. First of <laughs> I all, mean, doctors are retired. Hiring, they're folding their practices right and left to Alan. Do you, could, do you disagree with that, Alan? Do you not know anyone who's yes, experienced any of those things? I don't things? know anybody like that. But here, let me ask you this. Well, okay, so, Alan, so you're living a little, if I could just, little if bubble. I could actually, where, if I could uh, ask a question here. Go ahead. So you've got a bunch of Republican senators, a bunch of about 37 of them, or 31 actually, who have now signed on to extending the subsidies that they're against. They're so worried that the Supreme Court may rule against the subsidies. Now they're actually mitigating against the very thing they were arguing okay. against. Pete, so, why I is mean, that? explain that to me. Why well, I, I think you ha we have a, a former constitutional professor in office who ramrodded this law through. It was poorly written. They changed the rules of the Senate to try to get this thing through. It was the most partisan sweeping right, give me law a better that plan. was ever passed. Give me the better and it plan. was a mess from the beginning, What are the Alan? Republicans going to do to fix the, it? For, I haven't heard well, anything. The, the first step is to be getting rid of it. And do and what? to be Replace looking at the free what? market and, to, and, to and just find leave. solutions to fix this and problem. And you're going to leave Think of the billions million of dollars, people Alan. Uninsured. Think of the billions right. of dollars that we could have applied to our economy to get it moving faster, getting people uh, employed in jobs, than to be rolling back uh, the work week to 30 hours if, a week. If the Supreme Court a rolls it back, fantasy. the um, Republicans will be very upset. It'll hurt their constituencies and probably elect more Democrats. Well, I, I, I think you highly doubt I, that. I think one of the reasons that they want to, you know, continue the subsidies is because they, they're hoping that they're going to be able to elect somebody that uh, will maybe be able to change the system. I'd love to know what the new, new plan is. No, I don't, I don't know. That's a very good question, Alan. Um, so we'll see what they come up with if they get the opportunity. Gentlemen, thank you thank very you. much. Thank Pete. you.